Every athlete knows it's important to stretch. I'm going to do the push-pull event. It is a deadlift competition along with a bench press competition. And Michael Crow will do it as perhaps the first amputee in the push-pull competitions at the World Police and Fire Games. Well, the only problem that I can see is hopefully the, uh, the prosthetic leg can pick up or uh, keep up as far as the weight that I'm going to put. On my body. Crow is a Bakersfield police officer. His injury happened in 2012, a day before his first day on the job. I was involved in a motorcycle accident from a, a gal who was distracted driving. Um, I was in the hospital for two weeks uh, with a severed foot, and I was left with the option to amputate. Crow has found support in friend and retired officer Christina Correa, who was shot while on duty. I was um, injured on the job. That's how we connected, um, and I. I was saying inspired by him and seeing what he's doing and seeing these kids look up to him. Crow's father. Being a police officer is difficult, but to have a disability like he has right now and to perform just as well, if not better, than all the other officers, that's amazing. Athletes from around the world are here in L.A., like one colonel from Mongolia. It's, it's, it's a tough sport for just, you know, for us, for everybody. So for people like Mike, who's challenging himself on this strong sport, that he felt so proud of him. And like anyone else on the job, Crow can run and jump and do the job of a patrol officer. His message... Amputees can be police officers and hopefully being that inspiration to others. Well, I have the update. Crow did not place in his competitions. He did bench, though, 370 pounds. He did deadlift 550, not quite reaching his goal of 600 pounds, but still, wow, job well done, wouldn't you say? Oh, what a marvelous story and an inspiration to all of us. He really is. Yeah. He's back to, back to work after the, after the police and fire games. All right.